Hey everybody, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway, here to do a general weekly read for the 21st to the 27th of February. Uh, we have a really, really, really auspicious date coming up, which of course is the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022. So if we take all those numbers, um, we have six twos, because we cross out the zero there. Uh, and the six twos are such an auspicious day. We are definitely working with an opening of new portals. We are working with an energy that is unifying on a massive, massive and on a grand scale. And we can already see this occurring uh, as we watch what is going on worldwide, as people stand up against mandates, as people stand up against uh, freedom and wanting to work with their own sovereignty and have their rights uh, to, you know, to live their life and to be able to say no when it's necessary. It's people standing up to the tyranny that is going on on such a deep, deep, dark level. And, you know, there are so many people that really don't even understand what is going on at the present moment. Um, because, you know, when we look at mandates, they're just, they're just the, the, the tip of the iceberg. What's really going on is deep, 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 deep down, and it affects us on a worldwide scale. So when we look at these twos, we have the six twos that are in this um, formation. It is that unification. It is all about relationships. It is about balance. It's about partnerships. It's about transformation. And really it is a belief system in knowing that we are here to create mass transformation and you know mass partnerships mass unification so whatever happens on um you know that micro level also has to have happen on the macro level as above so below it is definitely one of the seven hermetic principles and we have to continue standing our ground we have to continue to believe that there is more than meets the eye I think what we see is a lot of smoke and mirrors that go on, where what we're seeing is a lot of threats um, and, and these hardships that we're, you know, we're witnessing as well um, by those who are, who are um, standing up for their rights and their belief systems. Uh, they're basically either being, they're literally being poisoned, like here in Canberra, Australia, with these um, long range acoustic frequency devices that are being used by the AFP. Um, and, you know, going all the way to Canberra, when, I mean, sorry, to Canada, when we look at these, these policemen on horseback trampling on people, you know, even here in Australia, we've seen, you know, the capsicum spray on, on elderly people in Canberra and in Melbourne. Like it's disgusting, but what we're starting to see is unification. What we're seeing is people standing in their power because Aquarius is all about, I always look at Aquarius as the black sheep, even though we're coming into the into Pisces now, or we're in Pisces now, but you know, where we've started with that new moon in Aquarius and being still in Aquarius, we're seeing the people rise. It's not about conforming anymore. It's about standing up for our rights and our sovereignty. So in saying that, um, before I get into the cards, because I'm going to also use uh, Colette Baron reeds cards, I just want to pull a couple of Animal Oracle because I love her decks. I really um, resonate with her decks. I'm then going to do a reading with my own cards, which are the Sacred Geometry Healing Cards. These are available online, our, any good stockist worldwide, okay? Anyone who buys from me, though, I will personally sign with pleasure. Uh, also on my website, and these are really coming into their own now, are my Liquid Alchemy in a Bottle, which are high vibrational frequencies that have been created um, to nurture, balance, and heal 
the mind, body, and soul. Uh, they are beautiful, uh, beautiful frequencies to, to work with. And especially now, especially with what is going on, and we, you know, we know that they'll go to, you know, these um, governments worldwide will go to any level to um, do what they can to sort of hold us back. These work beautifully as we can rebalance with frequency, especially I have the set of solfeggio as well, um, but also in terms of protecting ourselves um, or working with, you know, um, different emotional aspects in which we're actually letting go of. Because what I'm finding even now, you know, and um, just coming back to this past week, I've just celebrated my 50th birthday and what I realize is the importance of being able now to let go of my story because I've lived this story that I've had for the last 20 odd years in particular. And I want to create a new story. I want my, this new, this, to me, it's about, this is the next level of my journey and where I'm going and what is it that I can create not only to work and help with on my, for me, but it's also about how I can assist others and to be able to teach others because um, knowledge is power and be from power of the knowledge, we gain wisdom. And that is what we're here to do, to gain that higher aspect, that higher wisdom. And that wisdom is then passed on to our children and our children's children. So, very, very auspicious day tomorrow, 222, 222, which we have the six twos in there. So, sweet results await, okay? And the antelope spirit is life is speeding up, which is a number two. Life is speeding up, okay? One of the major big things that we have to learn as we go further and further down, um, as we're you know going down our path and we're experiencing what we are and our consciousness, you know, our, our consciousness um, or our awareness is coming along in leaps and bounds. We need to understand that we have created time, okay? And no other species in our universe goes by linear time. We need to let that go. But life is speeding up. My friend was here before, beautiful Morris, or Morris Canning. He creates the most divine um, medicine wheels. And I have shared his link before. But he said, oh my God, where's the time gone? Like he felt he'd only just arrived and he'd actually been here already for about 40 minutes. And it just went. So time does speed up, it really does. It's, it's just that acknowledgement that we are gaining it. I, I don't ever, ever wear a watch. I don't go by time in that respect. It's, I've never really been um, one to, to recognize to have to go so much by linear time. Um, I mean, we all do to, a, to an extent, but otherwise I don't wear one because I, I don't run my life so much that way, but life is speeding up, okay? Just remind yourself it's important to be balanced. And what I also look at, at this is, look at the antlers. To me, those antlers are DNA, okay? It's that intertwine of the DNA, the two strands. What I'm seeing is, you know, we, as time is speeding up or life is speeding up, we're going through these changes at a cellular level. And the more we awaken on a conscious level, what we're going to start to find is that we're going to start um, activating as well as our, you know, our other DNA strands. So even though we have the two now, we're looking at probably starting to activate that third DNA strand. All right. And we're seeing this as time is going on. And those who are watching this are already going through these changes or already starting to look and understand that there's something else going on on a deeper level. And it's knowing, you know, to me, the seven is the number of the mystic, okay? This is telling me that we are going into those higher frequencies and we're working more with our intuition. But B works its magic. It's um, very much a balanced aspect as we look at its hive um, and it's all about that balance and that workmanship. But it's saying that the, the you know as we work harder and harder, 
um, towards our goals, our belief systems, the sweet results await. Okay, so that's really beautiful. So I'm just going to leave that there. And actually, I do want to look at this bottom card, Swan Spirit, time to go for a deep dive. Know at this point in time, anything that you are holding on to that no longer serves you, now is the time to let, let it go. It's now time to let it, to release it. You know, we no longer need to hold on to certain emotions. We don't need to hang on to sort of certain stories. And I've done so much work myself around this at the moment. Um, and what, you know, what I've realized is there are, uh, my story has been my story in particular for the last 20 years. So for me, even though, you know, like, I, I've moved on and I've gained and I've, I, I've, you know, it's helped meld me to who I am today. I still hold on to aspects of that story, which is making me hold on to other aspects of my life that have really just hold me back that little bit, you know. And that, that part that holds me back is the fear that is, is you know, associated, um, you know, with that storyline. Okay, so it's really understanding that it's okay to let it go now. It's okay to go, I'm ready to quantum leap. I'm ready to go into that, you know, next phase of development and who I am and where I want to be. So I'm just going to move them out of the way. Let's pull some cards here. Okay, two, 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 two. All right. Going on from what I was saying with this swan, this deep diving, the 174, okay? The 174 is my body uh, is safe and loved. The 174 is of the lower frequencies of solfeggio. But what is so imperative with this particular frequency is knowing that it's okay to let go of aspects of our life that are no longer serving us, the aspects that we have worked with, we have dealt with, that, you know, as we hold on to it consciously, subconsciously, you know, unknowingly, that it is holding us back. It's because it becomes a fear, it's become security, it is an understanding, you know, well, this is how my life is, it seems to run okay if I keep myself in this cycle. The actual fact is it's not, and it's okay to let that go, all right? It's okay to acknowledge, it's okay to use a ho-o-po-po-pono, uh, it's sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Um, and this is about being able to know, it, you know, you can release anything that is from your past that is karmic and is knowing that you are safe and loved as you go through this experience. We are really feeling tired for what we're going through at present. It feels like an uphill battle for so many people. You know, it's, it's mentally draining. It's physically draining. It is okay. You know, last night I got home. What did I do? Or before I went to bed, I had an amazing bath in bicarb and Epsom salts. I also, um, uh, I, I just put some uh, oils in there as well. Okay, which felt right for me because I just felt I needed to regroup um, and bring my energy back into balance. Okay, so the vitality card is saying you need to bring yourself into balance. You need to be looking after yourself. If you're tired, have a sleep, have a nana nap. Um, you know, if there's something, if you've taken on too much, it's okay. You can, you know, let it go, take it on. You know, maybe you just need to have that break and you just have to say, hey, I'll do this tomorrow or I'll do this a bit later. All right. The garnet crystal is this particular um, shape. Okay. The rhombi dodecahedron, that is the shape of vitality and you can work with the garnet crystal, which is all about our life force. All right. Interesting how these cards are all coming out. So I think what the, the message here is really telling us how important it is at this point that it's okay to let go. It's okay to release our past, our karma, our story that we no longer need to hold on to because we've written that story, we've finished that story and it's time to move on. So this is telling us we can reflect on our past 
We can have immense gratitude for all that we have been through, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sad, the elations, whatever it might be, okay? But it's all right to, to reflect upon it and then be grateful and let go of what no longer we need to hold on to because what we are doing is we're going into those higher frequencies, those higher dimensional energies, all right? And it's the Sri Yantra, we're working with expansion, expansion of self, expansion mentally, spiritually, okay? And we're connecting into higher wisdom, so, so important. And that card's a seven, so it goes back to the B spirit. It's about that, what we are bringing through on those higher levels. Okay, let's get a couple more cards. Please and thank you. You know, so it's really out with the old to bring in with the new. And it's okay to let go because sweet results await. Okay, it's not gonna turn. And you know what? You don't know, may not know right yet now what the outcome's gonna be. But you have to believe, you have to trust, you have to have faith, you have to manifest. Okay, you truly have to, what you think, what you feel, what you taste, what you see, bring that through. That is what we're here to manifest. We're here to manifest our dreams, our desires, our belief systems. But know that as we are going into these higher frequencies, what we actually think, our thoughts will manifest, okay? And be careful because these thoughts are powerful. Perfect, to finish it off, unlimited potential. This is our DNA. This is saying, and it has, it has been a really, really clear message here. What we think, what we feel, what we know is what we create, what we're here to manifest. We can change the way we look at things and then the things we look at change. We can change things from a um, cellular level. This is all about consciously creating change. It is the pentex ratio. It is our DNA. Okay. We have 12 strands of holographic DNA. We are here. We are ready. Many of us are ready to start switching on that next holographic strand of DNA. And when we do it, what is it that you truly want? What is it you desire? What are we letting go of? Look at what our world is doing now. We are in upheaval. We are about to go through reform and revolution on massive scales because everything in life changes. Nothing ever stays the same. And we cannot continue as a race as humanity now, the way we are going. Things have to be thrown up in the air. Things need to be changed. But it is going to happen one person at a time, one state at a time, one country at a time, a nation at a time, until we create our whole universe, our whole world, okay? On terror, on earth, as a human race. We need to change. We, we, we don't have choice because the way we're going, we're only going to end up like that of Atlantis. We will cause self-destruction and it will then happen on a major scale because we are not awake enough. But people are waking up. It's probably slower than what we thought it would be, but it's happening and it has to happen one person at a time. We need to create the changes within us. We need to let go of our story, our, our, our generational stories, okay? 
We need to let that go. We need to sever the ties of it. We need to let go of karma. We carry epigenetics for up to 20 of generations. It used to be 14, but now they're saying 20 generations. We're carrying this shit with us. This is what we then pass on to our children and our children's children. Are we going to keep carrying it or are we going to let it go? Are we going to change our story? Because this is what we need to do. And I was listening to something last night and truly, and I, I've watched it now twice anyway, The Eternals. There is disclosure coming. These movies, even the Star Wars series, this, you, this, this is not made up fiction. There is so much aspects of truth. Jupiter ascending, watch them. It is there for us to watch. Look up. Use discernment. Because at the end of the day, we're here to create the most precious amount of joy in our lives. And our connection to who we are, into our heart. Okay, to here to create from the sacral. It is this heart sacral connection here. And as I looked at that, it was 2112. Okay, this is what we're here to create, the most immense joy in our life. But it's okay because it's got to be hard sometimes. We've got to feel the tower moments before we can actually see that light. But understand, when we see darkness, to have darkness, there has to be light. But we're seeing it as darkness because we're not looking at it from a high enough standpoint, from a high enough frequency. For there to be dark, there has to be light. And for light, there has to be dark. Another hermetic principle, okay? It's the law of polarity. It is imperative. So turn that darkness into the light. Know there is light that is beyond what we are seeing. We are here to create that joy. And as I said, it always starts within ourselves and it becomes a domino effect to the point that it is going to affect everyone on a worldwide scale and all we need to look at is the truckies. It is a perfect example. Is this truckies? Unbelievable. And it's worldwide. Stand your ground. Believe in you and know it's time to change your narrative and the narrative of our world. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Have a beautiful 22 to uh, 2022. I'm going to try and get a grid set up to, uh, which I'll post here, hopefully tomorrow. So big love to all of you and speak to you soon. Bye for now. And it doesn't always stop. <laughs>